This one is about how the old mechanical bulb thermostats worked. Now this thing is one antique and a half. It's actually new old stock, if you could call such a beast for HVAC. Uh, I don't think it's ever been installed, but it's been laying around forever. It says it's Penn, which Johnson Controls, I think they bought Penn about a million years ago, so uh, it's a very old control. Now, taking a look inside, it's all mechanical, assorted springs and stuff, and it has a cutout and a cut in. Let me get a little closer on that. Now when you have something like this that has a cut out and a cut in, that means like right there it says cut in when it hits 80 degrees Fahrenheit, obviously, F-A-H-R, yeah, wow. Okay, if it hits 80 degrees, it turns on. So it's a cooling thermostat. Temperature goes up, it comes on. Goes down, it comes off. Okay, on this side it says cut out, and it's set at about 75. So there's a 5 degree differential in these things, in this one. Whether you can get a lot closer than 5 degrees, you probably can on these, but they're not that great for differential. You can't get down to like 1 degree differential. That doesn't really work. But that's what that means and well how does this silly thing work let's look a little closer in that okay looking here you've got a bulb the bulb is a saturated mix of something if uh, I was able to tell you I'd have to kill you so you don't never gonna know what's in it but the pressure goes into a bellows right here and we'll take a look at that bellows. Okay, I was kind of hoping we could look at the bellows themselves because they are a bellows, but they've actually soldered this bellows in there, which is kind of an interesting idea. Uh, never seen it done that way before. But this little threaded screw here is what moves back and forth. Here you can see the sorted springs and the like. And I'll show you the adjustments a little later. This is the over center device. This is what actuates the switch. This pops this way and pops the other way. Now I'm going to put it in some warm water. I've got the bulb in warm water now. And if you watch closely, you can see that over center device move. Okay, now it's switched. Now I'm going to put the bulb in cold water and you can watch it go back. That's how that actuates. Now looking at the top of this, these are the two adjustments for the temperature and the differential. And with the screwdriver I'm just going to move these back and forth and you'll see what changes they make. So note, if I turn this one it moves the whole scale up and down, okay? If I move this one, it moves the cutout. So that is, essentially, that's the differential. If I set this thing for, let's say, 80 degrees, and I wanted a differential like I had before of seven, uh, 5, I would set it to 75. If I set it farther down, say 60 right there, then it would turn on at 80 and shut off at 60. That would be a 20 degree differential. That's how that thing works. They're hard to adjust, they're hard to get right sometimes, but if you understand the way these things move, when this one moves, this one is going to change the range. So it's just changing the range. 
if I see if I took that 80 and I drop that down to 60 and still kept the 20 degree differential then it would shut off at 40 so I'm adjusting the range when I adjust this one and then I'm adjusting when I adjust this one I'm adjusting the differential hope that one makes sense